Spin, spin. Join the harem. All right, more love points. But first, slaves. Also shopping. All right, all my shopping done. Let's see, who have to, do I have to go visit? Oku. And it looks like I have to visit, uh... Well, Musa's gotta try the smoked buccaneer. Looks like I need to visit Kogasa, though. Oh, I think Orim's done. Hi, kitty. Ever since you set up shop in the underworld, Southie Sama's appetite has been getting better and better. Really? That's great. Letting you do business here was a good, a good decision. I feel like I can repay some of my debt to Satori Sama. Speaking of which, you've never told me how you were taken in by Miss Satori. Oh, that. Satori Sama took me home from a pile of dead bodies. <laughs> eh? Do you know why Yokai like the cash like this? Why? It's because we consume different types of food. There are many types of cat yokai. Generally, a cat that has eaten a human will become a nekomata. And though your nekomata friend who serves as a shikigami might not be the same, her power comes from her master, after all. And Kasha, almost without exception, are all born from cats that have eaten a corpse. You said Miss Saltati found you in a pile of dead bodies. Could it be that you were eating a corpse at the time? Thankfully, Sotosama still took me back home despite the gruesome scene. Why did you eat corpses? They're rotten and stiff. Even yokai don't like eating them. A starving kitten doesn't have the luxury of being picky about food. How did you end up like that? Before I became Akasha, I was a regular black cat. Humans treated me as a bad omen, so I'd be chased away the moment I entered their sights. The black cat about bad omens, huh? so if I wanted to continue living, I had to go somewhere far away without any humans. But a place like that doesn't have any food. With my life hanging by the thread, I arrived at a mass grave. I was so hungry I could barely keep my eyes open. So... And when I thought my life was at an end, I heard a voice. Don't give up, little cat. It's already over for us, but you can still live, live on. As long as you're alive, there'll always be hope. That's that's probably the first time I heard the voice of spirits. Somehow I felt strength well up inside me and I madly chewed on anything I could find. I saw I clung on to life. I never knew you had such a tragic past. No biggie after all, I messed up to someone long after. What happened after that? Back then I barely had the strength to keep on living, but I didn't have hope of living long. The first time I saw Sultis, she took a single glance at me from far away and left. The black had a bed omen in a mass grave. How scary, I thought I must have scared her away. Never mentioned that she'd come back a few moments later. She definitely came back to take you in, right? No, she just made me a bowl of Nekomanma. But that was the most delicious thing I've ever had, so, so I stuck myself to her. You really don't don't let looks deceive you, huh? So if someone could read my thoughts, I could finally be understood. You have no idea how much how much of a lifesaver that was for me. So if someone didn't just give me food, she gave me hope. Well, it was a bit sad, but it's all in the past. You look really happy right now, Odin. Yeah, my, my past misfortunes were also necessary because that's how fate decided I would meet Satori-sama. So I'm not sad at all. That's a nice way to think about it. I wish I could always be by Satori-sama's side to repair, but before that I have to repay your kindness as well. I Me, mean, Satori-sama's appetite has been getting better and better, and that's all thanks to you. I think it's time I give you a letter recommendation for the Bizarre Cooking Competition. Take care of Satori-sama's appetite in the future as well. Great, thanks for thanks for leaving a letter of recommendation for me in exchange. Yeah, I'm going to have a huge concert on the surface in the future. I especially prepared a VIP ticket for you. Feel free to come have some fun. Not, no need, I gave you the letter of recommendation because you cured Satori-sama's loss of appetite. I can't ask for something in exchange. It's fine. No, I can't take advantage of you. Since it's an exchange, I have to give something in return as well. If there's anything I can help you with, just say just say the word. Gather for me. Would you mind gathering some ingredients for me? You know this place very well, so it'd be a huge help. That's nothing. Now I can go to your concert with a light heart. I look forward to your visit. Alright, new slave. What are you, are you free right now? I'm very free. If you need anything, just ask. And that's fine if I trouble you with gathering ingredients today? Oh, that's nothing. Make sure you treat your customers well. And I fed you, right? I'm here to get feedback about the instant death. If I had to give you a score out of 100, I'd give it a 999. You've completely mastered it. That's an outrageous score, but thank you. The dish is really popular in the underworld. There's no way I can walk away from the name instant death. What an overwhelming desire to win. For you to leave inside a, a, a yokai, isn't that kind of like a, a mobile shrine? I'm a mobile shrine? Maybe you could even try collecting faith. Quick, try worshipping me. Um, Lord Yatagatsu, please watch over my business. May it be su successful as the sun is hot. No, no, you should say Lord Oku. I'm praying to the god who would pray to its carrier. <laughs> why, are there why are there crows perched on the sun? I'm jealous. What are the sparrow gods doing? Maybe the blessing of the spar- The spar columns? You should open up here again. Love points. And Yugi's finished, right? Bond level 5. May as well pick up some coins. Can always use some more of that cocktail. <laughs> Love points. Who does the gathering here? Oh, hello. Shrine man selling outside of Wodongo. Of course, that's me. Wah, that was close. Why are you holding a demon stealing sword and, and demon, ce demon stealing needles? I forged all these and these bells and mirrors. Too. Oh yeah, she's a blacksmith. I guess I can forge the items of the most superb quality. Human smithies have nothing on my, on my level. To think you had such a skill, starting to see me in a different light. I'm a Tsukumogami of, of all trades. 
What else do you do besides blacksmithing? I also babysit human children, among other things. A babysitter? Can you really? I, I heard that in the outside world, babysitters fly to the sky using an umbrella. Doesn't that suit me very well? The only similarity is the umbrella, right? By the way, blacksmith or babysitter, why do you want to work so many jobs? Well, I was thinking if no one wants to use me as an umbrella, I'll go and be a useful tool for humans myself. I only know how to scare people, though. But if I think predicting what humans want and then taking the initiative and assisting them should be the attitude of all new Tsukumogami, Oh, that's a really remarkable idea. It's nothing. I never thought you were this mature. I'm sure you get a lot of orders from humans. Hmm, what's wrong? My orders are at a grand total of zero. Huh. Why? Why are you crying all of a sudden? Am I really that useless? No, you're not. Aren't you really good at your job? No one needs my help. No one will place an order with me. You need to advertise. So you're one of- Gosh, you're one of those people. What point is there in living anymore? How about I place an order? Is that okay? Sure, what do you need? What an amazing recovery. Order all you want. I can't do everything, but I'll do my best to learn whatever you- Whatever you order. So are you pessimistic or hardworking? Let's see. I recall Milan Temple celebrates Nirvana Day every year. On the stalls, there'd always be this long dango thing. You mean Yashoma dango? Yashoma dango? That's why the Shrine Maidens come to Milan Temple to sell Yashoma dango. I think it's done the same way as the outside world, so it's so it's sold like hotcakes. Why don't Shrine Maidens sell dango at a temple? Never mind that, the outside world's dango. Do you remember what that dango looked like exactly? I think he's a variety of colored dango to... Hmm, you can't remember? No, I definitely can write. I'll probably remember if I could taste various kinds of dango. No problem, wait a bit, I'll get you some dango. A lunar dango and mochi. Why cook it and spend that extra half hour when I can just buy the mochi here? As well as the lunar dango. I'm back! Hmm, yes, it's coming back to me. The dango in question is like a longer version of... Whatever that says because of the words in the way. Of this one. Oh, when you cut it, it reveals a pattern. A dongle with patterns. I got it. Thanks for giving me such a wonderful idea. Really? I helped with something? You were a great help. When I finish making it, make sure you come try it out. Awesome, I'll be there. Sure, so I'll just invite you. Thanks, slaves. I've gathered some ingredients for you. Lots of booze and drinks. Why are you using your cart to carry the ingredients? I wash my cart every day. Turn these ingredients into delicious food for your customers. Alright, still, still popular mild foods. If I can get Okuru stop by, I want more tofu. Alright. No... We have... what is it? No alcohol. Low alcohol. Some mid. Actually, let's throw this in mid. And high. Alright, let's open! Come get some tasty treats from Mistress Lorelei. Now that I have my coal gathering, I can get some bamboo and stuff for some of the, uh, Ayente food. Hi, Odin. Alright, I know you like the, uh, strange stuff. Something just like this. Incoming Yuki. These are all people that I don't need. Are right, you on vintage and Japanese? And give you a godfather. We'll just keep feeding Odin this. Oh, incoming quest person. And Kogasa. Yuki wants high alcohol. And only wants something savory. Alright, what did Kogasa want? Yashoma dango. Sticky rice, sticky rice. Filling. Strange. Photogenic. That looks like something she really likes. Here you go, guys. Eat all your food. You want more of the same? All this shit just cooks instantly now. Yeah, fast cooking. I'm not afraid to try something even hotter than the fire. So, same thing. Give me longer duration on that. This one's not faster, though. Oh, you want more? Sp you want strength boosting. Well, guess what? Exact same thing. And you want some cock? <laughs> yeah, more duration. More of the same item. Look who's done. There's not gonna be a lineup for Yamame. Because people are in and out quickly. Quick feeding. Oh, Yamame didn't hang out very long. Not much time left. Didn't many special guests stop by. A random patchy appears. Not a very busy night. Liquor. And cultural. I think liquor doesn't have too many choices either, does it? Yay, cultural things? Insta feed patchy, bunch of cake. She's very cultured. Happy Patchy! More culture! I mean, she does read, read Dojinshi, right? So she's a very cultured woman. Oh, there's so much culture going on. 
<laughs> Thanks for my only 15,000 today. Slow night. Guess I should have checked if Sakuya needed help. <laughs> Senior juniors have to eat too, so leave it to me. Let's see, it's a little far up till coming, so let's leave early. Cup engineer's energy meal. The cup uh, captain is looking for work. For work meal providers for their engineers. Please find if you're interested. Well, first, let's get everybody working for me. Trying to get a pretty good stock of Wagyu beef. I always buy everything from Yokai Mountain because seafood things. Alright, who do I actually have to go visit? Kogasa. Nutso's almost at four. I want you guys to drop by. Get your tasty treats. Sorry, I haven't helped you in a while. Dang it, seafood. Oh, at least I'm getting more seafood now, though. What's going up here? Going on up here with the kappa? How slow you mountain forest monkeys actually take so long to deliver cargo? It's not damaged, right? How dare you say that you amphibian living so long in the river hasn't waterlogged your brain, right? If you hadn't been so slow, I wouldn't have needed to come meet you. If you're so capable and go up the mountain and get the goods yourself, you don't know how busy we've been lately. I'm done. I'm done talking to you. I need to get back to the machine quickly. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> As if we aren't busy too. What are you doing? Are you eavesdropping on us? I, mean, I was just passing by. Besides, there's no need to eavesdrop with how loud you two are bickering. Aren't aren't Yamawato and Kappa from the same family? Why is there your relationship like this? We moved to the mountain because we couldn't stand the stupidity of being in the water all day. Then why do you still keep in contact? The machine of the Kappa can't be completed without us. Additionally, the economy of the Yamawato is weak without the manufacturing ability of the Kappa. We depend on each other in both technology and business in order to maintain our power again, Sokyo. Since you have such close cooperation, you really sh you should really improve your relationship. Cooperation and feelings are separate things. Why why should they be mixed up? Only a layman would be confused about it. Oh, everyone in the mountain is amazing. That machine looks amazing as well. That's just an ordinary food processor. Food processor? It's a machine that can produce dishes and batch just by throwing in some ingredients. How can such a thing exist? Convenient, isn't it? Do you want one? I would never use such a thing. Cuisine produced by machine is soulless. Well, the taste is indeed inferior. However, the kappa didn't make it just to cook for themselves. Then what are you going to do with them? Who knows what these, those infamous are up to? Hey, I've talked to you too much. I'll be scolded if I'm slow on my delivery. Gotta go, gotta go. Why would the kappa use such a machine if they know that it's not as good? Convenience? Hmm, wasn't Miss Nisori here? Miss Nisori seems busy lately. I'll come back another time. Ma'am, you came at the right time, yes? Hello, may I ask, why are you the owner of the Night Sparrow Izakaya, Miss Mistia? Just call me Mistia, and you are. My name is Kaguya Mahina. I'm a pestilence god who collects misfortune from humans and hands them into other gods. You're a god? It's only a title, and reality, you and I are not so different. We're both yokai. You don't look like a god or a yokai. You actually look like a doll. Like a Hina doll, right? Isn't that cute? Hitori, just get married already. Also, spin. Spin. <laughs> it's actually pretty rare seeing a fancy and cute yokai. You're way too shy. You're getting embarrassed just because someone praised you. How will you ever overcome that? Mm -hmm, you're right. Well, what were you talking about? She's frequently rejected by both humans and yokai. She's not used to other people's company. Rejected by both humans and yokai? Do you know what, what Hina dolls are for? The purpose is to take away misfortune, including disasters and illnesses. She does the same thing. Sh shouldn't she be very popular then? Hina takes away people's misfortune and will keep them with her, and all in order to prevent the misfortune from returning back to humans. So for most outsiders, she is surrounded by misfortune. Everyone is afraid of going near her because they could become misfortunate. That does sound reasonable, but if you don't want to be rejected by others, then don't go around and collect people's misfortunes. But I have to, only I can chain those misfortunes with me to, get, to give humans a peaceful life. Hmm, can't talk her out of it. That's why I've been trying to create something that can store and suppress her misfortune. That way she won't be dangerous to others anymore. That sounds great. Is such a thing even possible? Of course, you're looking at the smartest cup engineer after all. A hen. See her wristband? That's a prototype that can store and suppress misfortune. Wah! Don't touch it! Whoa, you scared me. I'm just looking at it. Don't be too stingy. You misunderstand you. She's not stingy. She's just worried you, that you would become misfortune if you touched it. But didn't you say that I can contain misfortune? That's right. Thanks, Nitsu. Simply walking near me won't make one misfortunate. However, right now I'm still not used to it. This wristband occasionally leaks a little misfortune from time to time. I see. Don't worry. As long as you keep trying, you'll eventually control the misfortune eventually. You're absolutely right. That's why we need you. That's why, that's why we need you. If Hina wants to get better at containing misfortune, then she needs to train near humans. She's no longer sounded in misfortune now, so I want her to train in your izakaya. My izakaya, but if your misfortune accidentally leaked, that's highly unlikely. Even if it did, it'd only be a little. It won't be anything major. My nose must be a tough decision. Yeah, I don't want to force you either. She said, Nitori finally finished making a prototype for me. Even though she denies that I, I know she spent many years researching and creating this wristband for me, I don't want to put her efforts to waste. And what are you even talking about? I just don't want to see you constantly gathering abandoned Hina dolls flowing down the river day in and day out. 
I don't need you to pay me if you allow me to train at your izakaya. Oh, and I will do whatever I can to control the misfortune. You two are really close. I can never say no to such a sincere friendship. Do you mean? I told you she would say yes. That's great. Now you can finally get an opportunity to redeem yourself in front of others. Thank you, Nitori, and thank you too, Mistia. You're welcome. Try best to contain the misfortune. I look forward to working with you. Absolutely. Spin. Spin. Do my best to contain misfortune. Free movement speed slow, work speed medium. Immediately finishes cooking, but has a 15% chance of cooking dark matter. Since so she costs zero, can I just have her deliver random food for me? Is there something else I have to do here for Nitori? I guess I'll go chat with Kogasa. Hello, why why is Yashoma Dango eating on Pernirvana? Pernirvana Day? I think it's prepared for the ceremony to commemorate the Buddha's death when he attained Nirvana. I don't get it, what does Yashoma Dango have to do with the Buddha's, de Buddha's death? You didn't know that Dango symbolizes Buddha's... Sarira? The Buddha's ashes. Nope, don't get it. Humans are scary. <laughs> Kogasa, what have you done? What is it? Don't you know you, your wanted posters are everywhere in the human village? Oh, more or less. What, what on earth happened? You know how I said I worked as a babysitter for humans? How did you babysit into a wanted criminal? I didn't do anything though. If there are crying children in the east, I startle and comfort them. And if there are laughing children in the west, I startle and make them cry. Isn't that the same for all babysitters? I don't even ask for any money because no one's hiring me. I'm just being a good Samaritan. That kind of babysitter doesn't exist. You're just being creepy. What have you been up to lately? I found a new job which suits me. Great, what kind of job is it? Prepare for trouble and make it double. <laughs> right, did you need some strange book? Did you read some strange book again? That line sounds familiar. Don't cut me off at a time like this, will you? Sorry. But uh, prepare for trouble and make it double. For I shall become a rainmaker. What do you think? Doesn't it go hand in hand with me? It goes hand in hand how? For me, even if I succeed in calling down rain, I don't have to worry about getting wet. That's true, it does suit you very much. I have everything it takes. Now all I have to do is make it rain. I won't bother you any further than I believe in you. Maybe I'll invite a couple of you guys. And get all my ingredients from the slaves. Open up here again. How long is this mild food trend going to go on for? Alright, let's try to feed all the special guests, the rare ones. So I'll get rid of all my tofu. Oh, Satori approaches. What was it that Satori wanted? Burnout pudding. And Aguya approaches too. Alright, home cooked dishes. Not home cooked. I can make it home cooked, but then it adds a large portion which she hates. Oh well, you're getting it anyways. With coffee. There you go. Still red. Lightning speed. Is that home cooking again? No, that's specialty. Butter, flour, luna herb, egg. Something for Satori. With coffee. <laughs> she needs that caffeine. More spell cards. Tossing salads. Suddenly people are showing up. I want food that looks like it was struck by thunder. Is that barbecued? Well, you're getting one of instant death. I don't want to accidentally give away my stuff to other people. I have some instant death. I see an Oku there too. I want my speed up. And give her some iceberg can of my lemonade for Satori. At least Guya is easy to feed. What are you looking for? You can t tell apart shops by their signature dish. Man, Satori's eating a lot. No alcohol. Sweet. This one's a really good one for Satori. Keep turning back time. One second left on buff. So I get my buffs. Now I get my buffs back. <laughs> That's random. It's like it's not the. It's at the beginning of the night, so I mean, it doesn't help right now. And Satori's done. I wish I want smoked buccaneer. It's strength boosting, so she likes it. In fact, specialty strength boosting and meat are things she likes. So I'll make you one of these. High alcohol dry chillable western. It's high alcohol, high alcohol chillable. And you want shochu. And strength boosting. Alright, do you like that? Yes. Strength boosting. That's what uh, Tojiko wanted, right? Man, you're eating a lot. I'm also at the beginning of the night again. Alright, now I can force these people out. Gotta eat fast. Seawater and tears both taste salty. I feel like she'll like these. Yes. Keep feeding Oku the same thing too. I can eat meat if it follows the threefold rule. You want a western beverage? You like that combo? Yep. Alright, how much time am I getting here? 
291 seconds. Anua has appeared. Gotta pass out drinks. Heatable. Is this heatable? Like, heatable neat shochu. I mean, this is pretty, he pretty heatable neat shochu. Oh, you want signature. Signature with meat. And savory. The shelf life of food can't exceed now. That's gotta be savory, right? You can't store it in your head. Store it in your stomach. Guessing filling. I mean, this is still pretty filling. I see a Parsi. But I mean, it's still the beginning of the night, so... The journeys of mankind are how food comes across... Across food. What does that even mean? <laughs> Let's give you a random beef bowl. I know Nua likes these. I don't know if this is what you want. How much time do I have left? 459 seconds? Vintage beverage. Eating raw might be primitive, but it's really convenient. Add an egg. That'll keep you happy. Parsi's gonna make it through the queue. <laughs> Add your own tags. Being unidentified is wonderful. Is that strange or wonderful? Just add both and see what happens. It's raining! I don't know what any of newest things mean. But she likes that a lot. I don't know, is this what you want? I mean, it's red. Took a total guess there. Also, hi, Patchy. And there's a Parsi. Let's give her some milk. Still have 400 seconds left on this. Alright, Parsi wanted something specific. Agony Oden. Sounds horrible. Various ingredients are mixed in with a dash of spice resulting in a magical dish where you can't stop eating even when drenched in sweat. Agony. I mean, it has meat in it. It's got a lot of tags. Here to help with the spiciness, have some milk. Parsi keeps blocking my view. Let my blood boil. I keep eating, uh, what is it, patchouli cake. Unhealthy diet. Alright, any other special guess? I was just feeding the masses now. I'm at 40,000, I still haven't even, like, gotten towards the end of the day yet. How much speed buff do I have? Still 300 seconds left. But I'm doing speed cooking. Well, not on the cutting board. That's the end of the night. This person still made it in the door, though. Last customer. Oh, instant feed. Instant feed. Bye! I like how she gets more tips than the actual, like, cost of food. 44,000 is not too bad. A food processor? That's right, it's supposedly a machine made for batch cooking. It sounds convenient, but the dishes make sound don't seem- doesn't seem up to standard. So it shouldn't be a threat to our business, right? I'm not worried about the business, I just think it's a little strange. What's strange about it? Why would the company use such a machine if the food isn't good? Isn't it normal to sacrifice taste for convenience, like fast food? But if they didn't care about taste, then why did they invent- then why did they invite me to open an izakai here in the first place? Maybe they didn't want to eat it themselves? The Yamawato said the same thing, but I looked around today and didn't see any processed food anywhere. I don't know, why are you even so concerned? What are you even so concerned about? I'm just a little concerned about the so-called food processor. If you're that concerned, then why don't you ask the kappa? Then I'll go and ask. Alright. Served a bunch of guests. Eleven rare guests. Keep on building up that yen stock. Alright, go see Nitori. Get slaves to work. <laughs> Buy more tofu. <laughs> Alright, I have to go around and see a bunch of people, right? Like Satori, Parsi, Murasa. Gotta go see Oku as well. And Murasa. Nua's getting close. And Tojiko's done. At least done level 2. Hi, Satori. Miss Satori, I'm here to get feedback on the burnout pudding. The effects are quite sharp, even without sleep, I still feel full of energy. <laughs> All starry eyed. She's on drugs. You still have to sleep. Rest assured, I make sure my work does not pile up, so even with the giant work workload, I'm still able to rest. I just wish to make some time for a visit to the surface. Miss Koichi is very important to you, right? And you work to the bone, yet you still want to visit her on the surface. You need to worry about yourself as well. Yes, I absolutely cannot fall. Miss Lothity, from where did you adopt all your pets? I never supposed to adopt adopted any of them. The animals essentially all came here on their own. So many of them? You must be very popular with animals. It's because I'm the only one who can understand them. To have you as their owner, they must be so lucky. Will the surface hold another Danmaku Fireworks Festival this year? Another what? Fireworks Festival? Oh, I remember now. You mean the one Mr. Nemo held with an outsider? Did you attend as well? 
Then the world's Yokai are obsessed with these grandiose displays of power. I had to attend in order to keep an eye on those troublemakers. That festival is really fun. I never expected Danmuk exploding amidst the sky to be so beautiful. Since the underworld has no sky, uh, we only see something like that once every blue moon. What kind of Danmaku did you perform? The traumatic memories of the audience? Seeing your deepest fears explode right in front of you makes quite the impact, right? Right. Hello. I'm so bored. Well, staring at the furnace all day does sound dull indeed. I have all this power yet I have nowhere to use it. How boring. Wanna see my power? I'm not exaggerating when I say I could even take over the service of the power I control. Probably that is better off unused. Sato Yusama is busy, Odin is busy, and I'm clearly working too, but why don't I feel busy at all? Well, maybe your work has a slower pace. Ah, I'm so bored. I'm so... Stop whining for crying out loud! You're heartless. Fine, then I'll find something exciting to do. Are you going to leave your post? I just open the skylight to cool it down. Nothing will happen if I'm gone for a bit. Are you going to get an earful from Odin later? Hey, where are you going? I'm looking for something exciting. Besides, it'd be more fun with Odin around. Wait, what are you doing? That's my line. What are you doing? I'm thinking about how... Uh, how about we just build a sun for fun? Huh? The underworld is really lively, but unfortunately it doesn't have a sun. That's where I come in. How exactly with the ultimate energy channel from the underworld I can create a sun on the spot? <laughs> uh, although I'd really, I'd really like you to see if the sun will burn its surroundings to a crisp. So it's better if you don't follow, otherwise you might become Fried Sparrow. Or maybe we could play a different game? It's okay, I'm very good at controlling nuclear energy so I won't let the sun explode. If Miss Satori and Odin found out, wouldn't they be very angry? Why? Because great power should be used to do more meaningful things? And that's indeed something Sati Sama would say. So now I'm dying of boredom right now. I just want to get my brain all heated up. I can't heat up your brain, but maybe I can heat up your stomach. Oh, I happen to know how to make a dish like that. I'll make some for you. Just sit here for a while. All right, I'm waiting here for you. Do they want? Does she want hot? Super hot. Love points. Hello, is my smoke bucket here good enough, Miss Murasa? Good enough, good enough! It took me who knows how many days to develop the secret recipe and you cracked it in one in a day? And that's because you added heavy seasoning to your meat so it's not very hard. So it's not very hard to taste. If it bothers you, I won't make it in the future. Not really, smoking meat is actually a hassle. Now that, I didn't, now that you've learned it, I can just order some at your shop. Really, feel free, I'll show you my best smoked meat yet. Wait. Innuendo? All aboard showing off your meat? I heard from Kyoko there's a dignified disciple who's like a big sister to everyone here. Why don't I see her around? We're talking about Sho. She's technically the avatar of Bishamonten, so appearing too often in front of people would cause a ruckus. So she wants to remain mysterious, more or less. Compared to stuff you can see and touch, humans prefer worshipping the intangible more. That's what you say, but she's actually afraid of slipping up, right? You can't fool me. She may be the avatar of Bishamonten in name, but in truth she's just a yokai tiger. You know she originally was a yokai. Sho has already become an existence which can gather faith on her own. If you want to talk strength, she's in the same boat as that god in the mountain. No way a yokai who's attained enlightenment. I just noticed your ladle is bottomless too. Since everyone already knows my weakness, I gotta work hard to overcome it. I don't usually flood a ship with water. My ladle may be leaking, but I can still hold water. How on earth do you do that? As long as we put our heart to it, nothing is impossible. Don't use such a cool line for pranks. Relax. Due to Moon Temple's influence, I don't cause accidents really nilly now. Really, I'll at least pick and choose the targets I want to sink. Aren't you still causing accidents then? I told you to go, hey, Miss Magnus, we over here. What's the matter? Ah, do you know where I can lay my hands on some mushrooms? Hmm, I think the priest over there sells it. And greens from Senkai tend to be on the sweet side. Dishes cooked with them also have the sweet smell to them, so it doesn't suit my palate. I think it's because the greens here are steeped in celestial energy all the time, though the average person can't taste the difference. But I'm a vengeful spirit. Isn't eating stuff like that just slowly killing myself? Not that I'm alive. I almost forgot you're a vengeful spirit. I almost forgot that myself. I don't get it. You're such a compassionate person. How did you become a vengeful spirit? Because I harbored a grudge, of course. Is it your hatred for Buddhism? Nope, uh, I can't say it's not that either. In any case, that's not directly the reason why I became a vengeful spirit. Then what is that reason? The reason isn't important anymore. It's, be it's been so many years. Aren't you the gossip brag? <laughs> so do you know where I can get some mushrooms or not? Preferably ones with a richer taste. Well, with mushrooms, I think you'll find them most abundant at... Forest of Magic? You can see the Forest of Magic in the Dormant is the opposite of this place, so maybe the mushrooms there will be more to your liking. The Forest of Magic? You've never heard of it? Oh, you mean the forest with a bunch of shut-in magicians? Shut-in magicians? I mean, you're not wrong. Got it, I'll drop by later. Instantly, are you looking for mushrooms to use as ingredients in a dish? Oh, I got my hands on some tender meat this morning. I wanted to fry them wrapped around mushrooms. What an innovative way of cooking. As servants of the Crown Prince, we all know our, our way around the kitchen, so I've learned a, few, a number of folk dishes these past few years. None of you like cooking, you seem to like eating too. You're a spirit, and yet... Oh, why did I suddenly get chills? Oh, were you reminded of someone? Well, unlike Futo and the Crown Prince, who merely slept through a thousand years, I had to spend all those years guarding the Great Mausoleum alone. Food was the one thing keeping the loneliness at bay. If there's one thing I miss, it's that I could have all the good food to myself. Be mindful, otherwise you might accidentally go to heaven. True. I'm really interested in that dish you mentioned just now. Why don't we exchange dishes made with mushrooms? Sure, we'll learn from each other. Love points. Alright, I gotta do some cooking for people. Five mushroom, three hot. Mushroom skewers. Do I also have to go see Nitori for something? Yep. 
Hmm, that's it. The customer eats everything, so there's no need to focus on quality. Yes. Hey, the loading needs to be faster. The customer isn't picky, but she doesn't like to wait. If the delivery is late, she can turn our base upside down. Understood. The guards will also help. Let's deliver the goods first, then. Bye, guys. It looks like they're busy. From what Miss Needler said, they look like they're making some kind of food. Are they using the food processor? I'll just have a little peek. <laughs> this batch can be loaded up. What are they making? Got it. These ones are ready too. Don't sweat the details. The customer doesn't care about whether it's delicious. Is that all the ingredients we have left? The force is so big. Can't that person cultivate more? That person? All right, all right. We'll finish this batch and deliver it. Thank you for all the hard work. What kind of wild fruit is that? I've never seen it before. It's red. A spy, what are you sneaking around for? Eh, ah. Uh... Hi, what's going on? Well, if it's only the night sparrow, he's a cat. What are you doing here? I came to ask about the commission. Commission? That was that was you who posted the commission in the Boom Boom Moto newspaper, right? Uh, how come you decide to help? If you can take these kinds of commissions, then why don't you open your Yuzakai during the day instead? Yokai aren't machines. That's a shame. If you could open during the day as well, I wouldn't have had, had to ask the Tengu for a commission. I saw that you wanted some energy meals in your commission. That's right. I've been using up a lot of energy at work, so I need to make up for it. What kind of work? We're developing a new product, which, which is always brain-racking. What's the new product? You're very inquisitive, you know. And why are you so interested? I'm just asking. Go and prepare the energy meals. We're going to die of hunger if we don't get it soon. Okay. Don't have enough time to make five energy skewers. I'll make it next day. For now, I'll exchange recipes with you. Golden Two Shroom Wrap. Sorry for the wait. That's a lot of dishes. I don't know what kind of flavors you like, so I made it. I mean, it's the exact same thing five times. It's fine. The spirits appetite endless. I won't waste even a single scrap of food. All right, I almost forgot. Here's my golden two shroom wrap. Bon appetit. It looks super delicious. Really, I can teach you the recipe once you're finished. Really, thank you so much. Thank nothing. All right, I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna dig in too. Tasty. Hi, Parsi. I'm here to get feedback for the agony Oden. You didn't follow my method. Your method was terrifying. I wanted to mess with you a bit, but you didn't fall for it. Really, I thought that Miss Parsi came to my rescue because she saw me stuck in the mud. Well, of course not. Miss <laughs> Parsi, do you perform the straw man ritual every night? Yeah, want to learn it? Eh? No, 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 I'll pass. Indeed, you really don't have the talent. Speaking of which, I went to the shrine to perform the ritual and met a very promising doll maker. You went to the shrine to perform the ritual? How else can I spread the word about the ritual? You really are dedicated to stoking jealousy. Miss Parsi, there's this taboo on the surface about crossing bridges. Never say good things about other bridges when crossing else's Hashihime will go into a jealous rage. So humans do not say when they cross... So do, humans dare not say much when they cross the bridge. The premise itself is absurd. Why would anyone say nice things about other bridges in the first place? I don't really get it either, but that's what the legend says. If we did something so arrogant, isn't natural people would be angry? Likewise, blaming the Hashihime for being jealous is really unreasonable. That's also true. If a bridge helped me safely get across, but I was thinking about other bridges, of course I'd get angry. To be so understanding of others, I'm so jealous. And here you go. How was it? Did you feel the heat? Gosh, and hellish spice. Almost. Was that it? The dish is almost al has always gotten passionate feedback. I have the Yata Goddess inside me. That level of heat was nothing. Give me something more exciting. Fine, on my honor, chef, I shall grant your wish. Well, I want to try something like... <laughs> try saving something like that, too. I've been looking forward to saying that for a long time, and I finally got the chance. You better keep your word. Just wait and see. Alright, thanks, slaves. Alright, back up here. Back to the good old mild foods. And, and I never seem to save a, uh, a preset. Alright guys, come eat my food again. This time we'll make it a regular sized night. No Guya gonna visit. Put something new on the menu. Hi Yugi. Just give me a dish that'll go well with sake. And give you some beer. Hi Satori. And go well sake again. Is your special miso. Miso or me? <laughs> you want something stimulating? How about coffee? And then you want a strength. Let me try your signature dish, Birdie. Satori loves that strength boosting stuff. Bizarre adventure cultural atmosphere. Incoming Orin. The finest queen is akin to wake waking dream. Add dreamy to it. And that pussy wants something strange. And Satori's already done. Oh, you don't like trend popular? I need Oku to speed things up here. Need my buffs. Give expensive boost to use up your monies. Eating raw might be primitive, but it's convenient. At least your easy drink selection. I'm going over budget. Alright, I think that uh, being strange is wonderful is literally just straight up strange. Oh, finally there's no clue. You're a bit late. 
If I'm not full, I can't even turn the rudders. That's filling. And Oku wants the hellish spice. Chili, 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 beef, cheese. Hey, look, it's salty too. Did you like that? Yeah, you did. Alright, make things very hot. Super hot. But it's the end of the night, so it doesn't really matter. Salt replenishment. Should I just give you the same thing? A note way over. L long pause for a note. A feeling of strength as a geyser erupts is way too exciting. Strength boosting? There you go. How much oil add is how hot the fire gets. Now you want spicy. And just toss you all your food immediately. Wow, I could have used this at the beginning of the night. Yeah, stack that buff that I no longer need. You sell a copy using that machine to develop a new product? It must be a trade secret, right? I'm glad you managed to get out safely. Just so happened that Miss Needle posted a commission on the news, so I was able to see that use that as an excuse. If you surrounded by people for so long, your brain has really gotten more flexible. Hey, don't make fun of me. You were curious about the food processor, but now that you've seen what's going on, everything should be alright now, right? Well, you're still not convinced? Be careful, curiosity might kill the sparrow. It's not about the machine, it's the red fruit I saw that gave me an ominous feeling. Wasn't it just an ordinary red fruit? It did look runny, but do you remember the fruit of desire that Miss Yuko ate? What, surely you don't mean? Did Miss Yomu say that Miss Yuko ate an ordinary looking red fruit? Uh oh. That's, and I heard that from Miss Mito that this fruit was picked from the forest. I remember Miss Yuko also said she came from the cost of forest, the fruit of desire in the forest. Isn't that strange? You're right, there are plenty of wild fruits in the mountains, so why would the Kappa need to get them from the forest? When he said that, I remember Miss Needley mentioned a person or something. What do you mean? It seems that this person was growing them in the forest. Miss Needley said that they weren't growing enough. How suspicious, isn't it? I'm not trying to be nosy. After all, Miss Needley was the one who invited me to open a branch in the Yokai Mountain. I don't want to be fooled into an incident again. You're right, if we die, then at least we'll die trying. That's a little too... What are you going to do now? Well, let's go to the forest and investigate. Since the fruit was from the forest, let's investigate it properly. Yes. And while we're doing that, we'll make a little money. Chief Mace consignment. Oh, mild food's no longer popular. Should I do one more night? There's too many love points to get. I can't get my froggy coins for more music. And usually needs their skewers. Hi, Nitori. How refreshing after eating your energy meal. <laughs> I feel re recovered. Here's your payment. Let's cooperate again if we get the chance. Alright, what's going on in the forest of magic? Is something... Is Marisa doing shenanigans? Yeah, money is probably doing shenanigans. Wasn't there a tree with flowers blooming here? I didn't think there would they would all be, all be gone soon. Maybe I'll ask Miss Money the next time I see her. Hi, Nue. I heard Mion Temple would be holding a sermon today. Are you not attending? Sermons and whatnot have nothing to do with me. Plus, no one's going to notice me missing anyways. What well, you said? Everyone in the temple is really close, right? We're in different worlds. The yokai of Mion Temple all center themselves on Byakuren, so it's true that everyone is really close together. But it's, I'm someone who joined up later, so naturally I, don't, I can't be as close as they are. How could that be? Friendship is friendship. When you become friends, it doesn't matter, right? Not that. But with, what, with what I did in the past, I can understand why they can't fully accept me. You mean when you got help for the temple despite not being told to? It might have been a bit rash, but it was all to protect Mion and Temple. You don't have to dwell on it. Miss Murasa has a boatload of misdemeanors, she's, <laughs> but she's as untroubled as ever. The things we did aren't the same. That's not the only trouble I caused. I almost made it possible for Byakuren to be resurrected. Eh? How'd that happen? It's a long story. I was originally sealed underground with Murasa and the others. When the geysers when the geysers erupted, we came back to the surface together. I was still trying to make heads or tails of the situation, but they all seemed really excited. Said something about a flying storehouse being unsealed and how they could resurrect that human. That human had ticked me off. Had they forgotten who caused all our suffering? So when I heard that they were going to look for storehouse fragments or whatever, I went ahead and scattered them around on the surface. They believed the fragments were scattered due to the, the, the geysers, but in actually I was the one behind it. Not only that, I even turned them into formless, unidentifying flying objects, making them search <laughs> astronomically more difficult. That's awful. They're the ones who wanted to side with the human. That's something I, I'd never tolerate back then. Is he referring to the head priestess? Yeah, I hadn't gotten to know her then, so I didn't know she was actually a good person. But that, I then found out Byokinen wasn't your average human. She's always been helping yokai. Well, I wouldn't call the head priestess human. Doesn't matter, human or not, she's always been there for yokai. And yet I... Well, in that case, I, understand, I guess it's understandable why they wouldn't forgive you. Hang on, if they hadn't forgiven you, why would they let you join the temple? I apologize to Byokinen, and she immediately forgave me. She even let me stay at the temple. It's thanks to her that I have a roof over my head. I did something so terrible, yet she doesn't blame me at all. That priest benevolently takes in yokai with nowhere else to go. That is pretty admirable. It's no wonder yokai are all willing to follow her. So yeah, I envy them for having such bonds. 
Even though, even I envy it just a little bit, seeing the dishes you made. I want I also want to turn the bonds of Moon Temple into a dish. Then could you introduce? Could you include me as well? Of course, but your defined trait is being unidentified. How does one go about putting that in a dish? A feeling unidentified. I suppose it's feeling akin to being lost in Wonderland. I recall you make you can make dreamy dishes. Uh huh. Why are you hungry? These dishes seem to bear some resemblance to my ability, so I was wondering. Understood. I'll bring some over right now. Love points. More love points. I still have to go around traveling everywhere. Alright, Sakuya, what do you need this time? Dang it, more seafood. At least I can buy all the seafood now. Thanks for the booze. Love points. Was it exciting enough this time? Haha, <laughs> that was awesome. My stomach felt all burned up. I just went to the underworld to think there'd actually be a market for such extreme dishes, but I think I kind of understand the meaning of the bizarre cuisines. Oh, a bizarre dish isn't just a strange or weird dish. Rather, it's a dish that understands the differences between customers. A one-of-a-kind dish tailor-made for each and every customer. I don't really get it, but if you want to participate in the bizarre cooking competition, just go see Odeon. I'd like to know everyone a little better first. When I fully understand everyone, I may be able to create even better bizarre dishes. It's okay to wait until then before I participate. It's been a while since you guys had a festival on surface, huh? Yeah, these days, Mr. Nemo and the others are very busy. Hey, how do you know that there hasn't been a festival on surface for some time? Because I sometimes attend with them with Odeon. But what about the hell of blazing fires? Sorry if it's only a while. Is real kid entrust you with such an important job? And since you have such strong power, even Miss Salty would be no match for you, right? If don't talk power, Salty Sama wouldn't even be a match for Odin, let alone me. You're kidding. Salty Sama has a very frail body. She'd even faint if she overuses her power, so she can't fight for long. But Miss Saltiri gives off a really powerful vibe. That's because Saltiri Sama can read other people's hearts. That too, anyone standing be before Miss Saltiri's third eye would definitely feel vulnerable. Well, it doesn't matter either way. Saltiri Sama is under our protection. Love points and invite. You too. Make some dreamy stuff. And here you go, Star Lotus ship. The streamlike feeling is indeed pretty similar to my ability, but it's still missing a little something. You're an unidentified yoka. On top of that, you have the ability to conceal the identity of other objects. So this dreamlike feeling. By concealing identity, you mean remove the true physical form of the object, right? Yeah, I can rob an item alive or otherwise of its form, sound, and smell, leaving behind only its movements. Take for example, a bird flying through the air. Now take away its properties, and you get an unidentified flying object. That's my ability. I got it. What's missing is, huh? The extraordinary. <laughs> Objects and creatures that have had their true form concealed are different items to everyone. This isn't something which makes sense, so an average human would subconsciously fill in the gaps of the unidentified object and turn it into extraordinary things. Rather than dreamlike, I think extraordinary fits you a lot more. Really? Okay, now just combine these two feelings and create something that can represent me in a dish. As for the others, rest assured, I already have a few ideas. When it's done, I'll, I hope you'll come by and come eat it at my shop. If you finish it, I'll definitely go. I guess I better invite you then. Love points. I guess I better invite you too. Alright, slaves! And back here. Actually, throw an ASEN in there too. Might as well just serve drinks, cuz. I mean, I can pretty much just cook all the food. Guest tips increased by 20%. Is that more than 10% of our daily revenue? I guess it's one way to find out. I mean, I don't really need any other drink servers just because of the fact that Saki does it instantly. Mew Fish Cooking has 15% cooking dark matter. Is that when she cooks? <laughs> Let's do this. More partners! Fucking make an expensive night out. Probably just means I won't sell a lot. <laughs> spin! Spin! Many notes. Everyone's probably gonna order tea because there's no cheap alcohol. Nope, here comes a new uh, Star Lotus ship. Make her thingamajig. You wanted this, right? Expensive cuisines. Best signature dish. I mean, that's pretty signature. Would you like some expensive sake there, Odin? People get to eat once and then they're done. Also, hi, Satori. I think nobody else gets to work because sake just does everything. I gotta get uh, Oku fed because I need that uh, wonderful buff. Oh, what kind of trouble are you gonna cause, Satori? You're gonna cause lots of customers to come by, right? <laughs> Alright, no more special guests. All right, what did Tojiko need made? Two shroom wrap. Pork mushroom truffle. Need my buffs again. And feed more cake to patchouli. Sutras can wait, but not meat. Actually, give accidentally give away something to uh, Tojiko that she doesn't want. Quickly feed everybody. Man, this girl takes a long time to do. I guess having what I had before every once in a while is fine. I don't know what that means. So I'll just make you this. Oku is done. Does this work for you? 
Yes. I wish more people would order lava and this. Because they cook instantly. Same with this. A Percy made it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Oh, you guys are actually serving drinks. Alright, let's jealousy bomb some people. You want spicy. With a heatable beverage. Like coffee. Alright, jealous much? Angry. So many notes. Two, three, four, five, six yen. Instant completion. Eat. Dejected heart can be soothed with fruits. The only problem is you don't like sweet. But you'll still enjoy that. Jealous. Jealous. Eyes. I see what you did there. And Percy's all done. Just gotta feed you guys your skewers now. Did it! Partner salary 5663. I really don't need Ace, do I? Alright. So, Kappa are causing trouble, so next time I, I guess I'll just keep doing love points. And doing and figuring out whatever the fuck the stupid cup are doing. Thanks for watching! Did you like this video? If you did, hit that like button, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. You can click on the left button to subscribe, and the right one to watch more of Mistia's Izakaya. Eat, eat, you, you go eats!